Alright, what's up guys? Today I've got a bit of a different video for you. It's going to be another technique video. And in this video you're going to learn how to induce a lucid dream in 9 seconds. So whatever you're currently doing, put it away, just pause it for a second. This won't take long. I'll try and keep it as brief as possible. Uh, and by the end you'll know how to induce a lucid dream using the finger induced lucid dream technique or the filed. Okay, so you may have seen my blog post on howtolucid.com about this. It's going to be slightly different. I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to actually use a little prop. <laughs> I'm going to use my keyboard to show you something. So, the technique essentially involves using your focus on your fingers, uh, and specifically the movement of your fingers, we'll get into that in a second, to guide yourself into a lucid dream. Okay, so, like most lucid dreaming techniques, this is going to be done during REM sleep. So what you're going to need to do, firstly, is find a day when you don't really need to be up for anything in particular, maybe uh, the weekend, for example. Set your alarm for 4 a.m., 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., okay? And at this time, th this is when you're going to do the technique, okay? So just bear that in mind. So, the filed technique, the finger induced lucid dreaming technique, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to practice this before you actually try and go to sleep. So during the day, now for example, you're going to practice what I'm about to tell you. Okay. So put your uh, hand on a flat surface, probably a desk or the floor or something like that, uh, and move these two fingers. Okay. You're going to move them up and down like this, as if you're playing a piano and you're sort of alternating between two notes. Okay. So go ahead and try that. And once you've got used to the motion, you know, you've, you've got used to the feeling of that, uh, you're going to do it again. Pretend this is like a, a desk or something, okay? So you're going to do it again. This is the first time you do it. When you've got used to that motion, you're going to do it even smaller motions like this, okay? And then you're going to imagine moving the fingers without actually moving them. So you're going to sort of just contract, I don't know if you can see that, just contract the muscle enough to move the finger and then go one step lower than that so you're literally just all well, it's almost like you're just thinking about moving your fingers as opposed to actually moving them okay and a really good way to try and uh, practice this i'm gonna use my little uh, prop keyboard here is find two keys on the keyboard and i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this clearly in here I'll try and make it clear now when you press down on a key you notice that there's a certain you can you can press the key without actually pressing it down and, and typing the letter, okay? So this is a good way to practice the sort of um, pressure you're gonna need. So just lightly press the key like this. Oh, I actually pressed it then, but just press it just enough to make the key dip down a little bit without pressing the key. Uh, and this will sort of get used to the amount of force that you actually need to use, which is hardly any, okay? And the way this works is that you're gonna be focusing your mind on the action of moving your fingers uh, when you wake up in the morning and try this. Uh, and that focus will guide you straight into a lucid dream and it will happen really fast, okay? It will happen within five to 20 seconds, okay? So, now that you've practiced that and you've got used to the motion, remember, you're not actually moving your muscles that much at all, if at all. You're just sort of thinking about it and, and concentrating on alternating between two fingers, okay? So, practice doing that while laying down without moving any other muscles, so just these you're not even moving the muscles really, but just focusing on those on those muscles particularly, okay? Then, you, you will have set your alarm. So you wake up at 4am, okay? And you do exactly the same thing. So you lay there, don't move any muscles. If you move any muscles, it probably won't work and you have to try again. Uh, and you just focus purely on the movement of your fingers, okay? And what will happen, if it works, within about five seconds you'll be uh, in a dream, uh, and so therefore you need to do a reality check, okay? Now, this is an important step, okay? This is where a lot of people sort of get mixed up and uh, and don't really, don't really get there with this technique. So, once you've done the finger movement at 4 a.m., okay? That sounds really dodgy, but yeah, once you've done that, okay? You're going to, not you're not gonna count the seconds, but roughly, when you feel it's been about 20 or 30 seconds, you're gonna do a reality check, okay? Um, now, if you do a reality check, and obviously you're in a dream, then you're lucid dreaming and you can go ahead and do whatever you want. If, you're, if you do the reality check and you're not dreaming, the technique hasn't worked, and this is important, you need to try again in an hour. You can't keep trying, okay? Because if you keep trying sort of 
uh, non-stop after the first time didn't work, you're just going to become more and more awake and it won't work at all. And it'll be very frustrating. So there's no point wasting your time. Okay, so if it didn't work the first time, that's fine. You'll be tired anyway, hopefully, at 4 a.m. Uh, so just set your alarm for an hour's time and try the exact same thing again in an hour. Okay? No, I think that it pretty much covers everything. I had to pause the video to try and think about what to tell you then. Um, yeah, so that's the technique, the finger-induced lucid dream. Uh, it's really good for beginners uh, because this technique tends to have the same effect no matter how long you've been practicing it. So you could be doing this technique for a year and still have the same results. It would still work. Uh, whereas some techniques tend to be hard at the beginning and then they get slowly easier. Uh, some are the other way around. Um, they sort of, their effects sort of taper off the more you use them. So this is a really good technique for an all round lucid dreaming experience, okay? Good luck with that. I hope you uh, get it to work for you. It worked for me almost first time. I had to try, I think, on the second time it worked. And then sort of since then, whenever I want, it just sort of works. It's a really good technique. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check out the blog post. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these videos and you can get access to more. Um, and yeah, go ahead and send a question into contact at howtolucid.com if you'd like me to answer it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.